Hello and welcome to a special Kids Zone for August. Well, we know you're on your school summer break just now, so we thought we'd make Kids Zone different this time. We know that God is with us every day, whether it's Sunday, or we're at school, or we're at home, or we're on holiday. So we've put together lots of different activities and some songs that we think you'd enjoy and that will help you connect with God at any time during August. So, why don't you play some now, then press pause, and come back another time during August to watch some more. We hope you enjoy it and have a great holiday. God bless you. For our first prayer idea, I've got a paper aeroplane prayer. You can make your own sort of paper aeroplane, okay? But first of all, you need a piece of paper and you need to write on it your prayer. I'm going to pray for my family. So I'm going to write, dear God, please look after my family. and help them to know your love. You can say whatever prayer you like. And when you've written your prayer, you're gonna take the piece of paper that I've written it on and we're going to make it into a paper aeroplane. I fold mine in half that way. And then I fold the corners down at the front like that and then I fold the edges down again to give me some wings and I end up with a paper aeroplane like that and to say our prayers we can have another piece of paper that says God on it and we're going to see if we put our paper, piece of paper that says God on it on one side of the room and we have our paper aeroplane and stand with it on the other side of the room, you have to fly it and see if it'll land on a piece of paper for you. It's quite a fun way of saying a prayer. Why don't you have a go? Well, when you go out to the park or the woods, I'm sure you like to collect things like sticks or pine cones or little stones. So I've got an idea to use some of those things for prayers. Here's what I mean. I'm going to use these sticks to make the first letter of somebody that I want to pray for. Here we go. I'm going to say a prayer for that person, knowing that God loves them and will help them. Amen. I've got a small stone and I'm going to throw it into the water. And as I do, I'm going to pray that God will be close to my family and help them. And I can see all the ripples moving away and it reminds me that God's love goes on and on and on. Amen. And the first thing we're going to do is surf a little bit. So you ready? On your surfboard! Everybody going surfing. We go, we go surfing. Yeah, yeah, surfing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Here we go, you ready? Hey, little, little one, you dance in the middle. Come on, have some fun tonight. I said, hey, little, little one, you dance in the middle. Come on, have some fun tonight. It's the top of my hands. Come lift your hands up high. Wave them from side to side. Come on and sing out your praise to Jesus. No need to be afraid. This is a joyful day. Stop the enemy. God has set me free now. That's great. Here we go. I'm singing. Hey, little, little one. Come lift your hands up high Wave them from side 
come swing so your partner. I've got an old plastic cup here, but maybe you could use a jam jar or an old uh, jar of coffee or whatever you like. And I'm going to decorate this. So I'm going to stick lots of brilliant things on there, lots of different colours. Um, I'm just going to use some normal glue and stick some different coloured paper on here. This is wrapping paper that I've chopped up. You might have some stickers you could use or um, see what you've got lying about at home really. You might have uh, your own ideas of how to decorate it. I'm going to try and make it look as nice as possible because I'm going to sit it on the side when I've finished uh, to help us to, to use it. All will become clear. The other thing that you need to do this with are some old lolly sticks. You can either use some lolly sticks that uh, you get from a shop or you can use old actual lolly sticks if you give them a wash. Um, it's a good excuse to have some lollies. So, I'm going to stick these things along the top here. And then I'm going to have some stickers. I've got some flowers. You might like something a bit different on yours. I'm going to stick them round, make it look extra nice and I've cut out another wrapping paper which I had which has got stars all over it so I've cut some stars out because they look really cool don't they and I'm going to stick them on as well so that's it so far I've got some pretty colours along the top and a couple of stars are going to go down the bottom I'm just going to put some other colours around because uh, I like lots of different colours on my things. There we go. You might find that you need quite a lot of glue to make it stick because otherwise it likes to peel back off again. So try and make sure you've got glue around the edges of whatever you're sticking on there and then it won't. So I put lots of different squares on it so it's a bit easier than trying to put one big bit of paper around because it doesn't quite fit because of the shape of it. And I'm going to stick some beautiful stars on. I've got a lovely yellow star here. That's going to go slap in the middle there. What do you think? And I'm going to have a lovely orange star as well which we're going to put around the other side and I've got some little stars that I've got out of the same wrapping paper so they can pop on there as well. Now you can have lots of fun decorating yours and take your time and make it look really nice and then what we're going to do is we're going to write some names of people that we know this one says people in another country actually so that's a good idea isn't it I've got grandma I've got uh, names of the people in our family mum dad 
all sorts of people and I'm going to put my lolly sticks just going to write something on the on there with a felt tip pen and pop them in my pot I'm going to leave that pot somewhere sensible maybe in the corner of a room or just by the front door and every day you can take a lolly stick out this one says grandma so for this day you're going to pray for grandma or as a family you can each take a lolly stick out and pray for the person or the thing on your lolly stick that's quite a fun way of praying and quite a fun craft too why don't you have a go Well I'm out in the country park and I've come across this lovely clearing in the woods that's covered with big branches and I can see that some children have started to build a den. Can you see it? Do you enjoy making a den? Perhaps that's something you can come out and do in the holidays. I'm going to sit down just here and because it reminds me of a story in the Bible. In the Bible the people of God had a festival once a year called the Festival of Booths. And a booth is just an outdoor house, a bit like this one. And the people of God at, during the festival would build a house outdoors, a booth, a den. And then they would sit inside and maybe have something to eat and would say thank you to God for everything that God had provided for them that year. So. Somebody here has made a bit of a booth, haven't they? A den. When you've finished making your den, why don't you sit inside and say thank you to God for everything God has given you this year. Amen.
I've got a craft idea for you now that you can try at some point. So we've had a lot of rainbows haven't we over the last few months and I thought it'd be really nice to do another rainbow craft because I love all the colours of the rainbow. So what I did was I drew a heart shape on a piece of paper and cut it out so I've got a lovely coloured heart. Now I've used lots of different coloured bits of paper because I have lots of different coloured paper at home but if you don't have lots of different coloured paper you can draw them and colour them or you can uh, maybe use some paint or whatever you can find that would work is fine. So I've taken my hearts and I'm going to stick them on a piece of paper. I've got a red one, an orange one, a yellow one, a green one, a blue one, a purple one and a violety coloured one. And I'm going to stick them all in a on a normal piece of paper. Mine's green, that's all I could find. So I'm going to stick them down with some Pritt stick or whatever glue you've got. And I'm going to start with the last colour first because that's going to end up at the bottom. So this is my last colour of my rainbow. I'm going to stick it at the top on that side of my paper. And then I'm going to stick the purple on top of it so that they overlap and they're going to go down this way. So here I go. So I've stuck all of mine down now. Can you see? So I end up with a rainbow of hearts. Maybe you could write a little message on your picture to say thank you to somebody who's helped you over the, the last few weeks. Some maybe mummy and daddy for helping you with your schoolwork or maybe um, your brothers and sisters for helping you to have fun, whatever it might be, why don't you write a little thank you and give the picture to them. Now, in the Bible, there's a story with the rainbow at the end. I wonder if you can work out which story it is. See if you can find it in your Bible and see what God says about the rainbow in it. Well, it can be really good fun to come out in the garden for a bug hunt, to search for God's tiniest creatures. I wonder where you'd find them. Well, little tiny insects and bugs like to, find, to hide in um, dark, damp places, don't they? So you might want to turn over a big stone carefully or a piece of wood that's been lying around for a long time and you might find some wood lice or ants or even millipedes hiding underneath. Don't forget to put it back carefully afterwards because that's their home. And a really good time to do a bug hunt is just after it's finished raining. So get your wellies on and come outside because that's when all the slugs and the snails come out, isn't it, when it's still damp. Well, enjoy having a bug hunt and see which of God's tiniest creatures you can find.
So now we're going to use some sweets to help us to pray. We know lots of people at the moment, don't we, that need God's love and care. So I've put some sweets on a plate and I'm imagining that each one of these sweets represents one of the people that comes to Kidzone. Okay, all the people that come and join Penelope and I or Ruth on a Sunday morning. But you might like to think about all the people in your family, all your friends, people who live down your street, or maybe the people you go to school with normally. Whoever it is, we're going to look at our sweets and say a prayer. So here are my sweets on my plate, and they're in the shape of a heart. I'm going to pour some water on them now, very gently. And let's see what happens. While we wait, we're going to say a prayer. We're going to say, Dear God, may your love and peace surround the people we're thinking of now. In Jesus' name. Amen. And look, surrounding the sweets, there's lots of beautiful colours. Isn't that brilliant? You can have a try at home if you can find some sweets that will work. The first words in the Bible say, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Why not go outside one night when it's dark and have a look up at the many, many stars that you can see in the sky? And maybe you'll see the moon too and have a look for some bright planets. And maybe you'd like to read that first story in the Bible about why God created the earth. Okay, so we're going to do a song called So Many Ways We Can Praise the Lord. I'm going to show you some of the moves to that song. First of all, can you show me your very best crazy dance? Go for it. Just go crazy. And then can you freeze? Go crazy. That's great. Freeze. Crazy. Freeze. Crazy. Freeze. Freeze. Nah, just, just check it. And then we're going to shout. We're going to shout, I love you. You ready? Go. Oh. That's so kind of you. I'm touched. We, we are talking about God. But even louder, go. How loud can you stomp? You ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Once more. Look at the person next to you say, you're going to rock. Band, take it away. Play me some guitar. Oh, yeah. Let it rock now. Okay, everyone, here we go. So many ways we can praise the Lord, many ways to say thank you. So many ways we can praise the Lord for being so wonderful. So many ways we can praise the Lord, many ways to say thank you. So many ways we can praise the Lord. Show me your best crazy dancing. Praise the Lord for dancing, dancing. That's great. Praise the Lord in silence, free. Praise the Lord by lifting up our hands to the King of Kings. Praise the Lord by clapping. Hey! Praise the Lord by shouting, I love you! Praise the Lord by stomping. Praise the Lord on drums and guitar too. So many ways we can praise the Lord. Many ways to say thank you. So many ways we can praise the Lord. Being so wonderful, so many ways we can praise the Lord, many ways to say thank you, so many ways we can praise the Lord. Give me your very best crazy dance, go for praise it. Praise the Lord by dancing, dancing, praise the Lord in silence, freeze. Praise the Lord by lifting up our hands to the King of Kings, praise the Lord by clapping. Hey! Praise the Lord by shouting, I love you! Hey! Praise the Lord by stomping, praise the Lord on drums and guitar too. But it's not just about the music. But it's not just about the music. Worship so much bigger than that. It's living lives to show we're thankful. That's the truth and that's a fact. Can you do a freeze? So many ways we can praise.
praise the Lord. Many ways to say thank you. So many ways we can praise the Lord for being so wonderful. So many ways we can praise the Lord. Many ways to say thank you. So many ways we can praise the Lord. 